بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم تو وی آر بیک ود آور ٹاپک دیٹ از دی مالیکولر ماس آف پالیمرس لاسٹ لیکچر میں وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا بیسکس آف دی مالیکولر ماس ان دا پالیمرس نا ٹوڈے ویل ڈسکس دا ٹائپس آف مالیکولر ماسز پالیمرس میں کیسے ہم مالیکولر ماس کو ایکسپریس کرتے ہیں سو دیر آر بیسکلی ٹو میتھڈس as we have seen in the last class that we have ma- uh, mainly two methods for expressing the molecular mass in the polymers number one that is the number average molecular mass that is the number average number average molecular mass this is one way so that can be designated as you can show it like uh, m n that's number average molecular mass then put an average here so this is number average molecular mass this is one way dusra jo isme method hai that is the weight average molecular mass weight average weight average molecular mass so it can be shown like this m by weight then put an average here so this is a weight average molecular mass to ye mainly ye do methods are there are other methods like z and so on lekin ye do major methods hai jahan se aksar question pucha jata hai so we'll start with the number average molecular mass so we'll try to make it concise jaise maine kaha ki hamari jo puri series hai our whole lectures we have tried to make them concise so that we can actually pick the concept and they can be useful in any type of objective type and any type of exam that is short answer type usme we are actually trying to cover up all the basics so and in case you still have any questions then you can easily write down the comments or you have the email id okay so number average molecular mass hum kaise nikale polymer ka جیسے ہم نے کہا تھا کہ پالیمر سیمپلز یوزلی کیا ہوتے ہیں کہ دے آر پالی ڈسپرس پالی ڈسپرس مینس ان اے پالیمر سیمپل وی ہیو ویریس مالیکیولس آف ڈفرنٹ چین لینتھ ایک پالیمر میں ساری جو چینز ہیں ایک جیسی نہیں ہوتی ہے دے آر آف ویرنگ لینتھ وین دا چینز آر آف ویرنگ لینتھ لیٹ سی دس از آور پالیمر اور پالیمر میں دیز آر دا میکرو مالیکیولس ان دا میٹرکس یہ سب ایسے میکرو مالیکیولس ہے اب آپ دیکھ سکتے ہیں دس پالیمر چینز کی لینگ ڈفرنٹ ہے سو وی سی دس از ون پالیمر مالیکیول دس از ون پالیمر مالیکیول دس از اندر اینڈ سو آن دے آر آف ویرنگ لینگ سو ہاؤ کین وی کیلکولیٹ دی نمبر ایوریج مالیکیولر ویٹ سو ڈو از دیٹ نمبر ایوریج مالیکیولر ویٹ سوری ماس اور ویٹ دیٹ از ایکول ٹو دی ٹوٹل ویٹ ٹوٹل ویٹ پالیمر کا ٹوٹل ویٹ ہے اور ٹوٹل ویٹ آف دا پالیمر اور ٹوٹل ماس آف دا پالیمر ڈیوائڈیڈ بائی دا نمبر آف مالیکیولس نمبر آف مالیکیولس اس پالیمر میں جتنے مالیکیولس ہے اور جتنا ٹوٹل ویٹ ہے بائی دس وے وی کین کیلکولیٹ دا نمبر ایوریج مالیکولر ویٹ سو فار ایگزامپل لیٹ اس سی دیر آر وی ہیو we have for example molecules there are some molecules with molecular weight m1 and uh, unka jo number hai that is n1 yani let us say they are 10 they are 10 similarly there are molecules with molecular weight m2 and then their number is n2 and so on let us take one more there are molecules with a molecular weight of m3 and their number is n3 now as a whole how can we express the number average molecular weight that is the total weight of the polymer divided by the number of molecules or number of macromolecules so what we'll do we'll write it like this so we'll write it m1 m1 plus n2 m2 plus n3 m3 divided by the total number of molecules that's n1 plus n2 plus n3 
अगर आपके पास इफ देर आर मोर देन एन थ्री एन फोर एन फाइव सो देन वील गो ऑन एडिंग एट दैट वी सो ऑन विल गो ऑन एडिंग ठीक so this we can write in the form of summation right summation n1 n i so we have i number of molecules the number of molecules n i and the mass m i so that we can divide it by summation that is your number of molecules n i so this is the number average molecular mass of polymers so this way we can calculate the number average molecular mass of polymers ab yahan pe dekh dekh sakte hain ki it's called as a number average kyunki yahan pe hum basically we are dividing here by the total number isme ek baat ye clearly ho rahi hai ki agar koi bada particle bhi hai jiska mass very high hai and there's another particle whose mass very very less so overall both are treated equally ye bahut important hai in case of number average molecular weight both higher molecular weight polymer and the lower molecular weight chain or a polymer they are actually treated equally because we are talking about the average theek we are basically uh, you know uh, calculating the average so both the contribution of both the high molecular mass uh, particle and the low molecular mass particle uh, so that contribution is almost the, that's the same so both are basically treated equally that's very important so in case of number average molecular mass so every particle is treated equally ye bahut important question hai so is tarike se hum kisi bhi sample ka nikal sakte hain if we know the molecular weight of individual chains and then we can actually calculate the और हमें ये भी पता चले कि कौन कितनी चीन का जो है मॉलिक्यूलर वेट कितना है सो यू कैन इजली कैलकुलेट द नंबर एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला ये जो नंबर एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट है इसको हम डिटरमाइन कर सकते हैं बाय कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर एग्जांपल यूजुअली ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर मेनली हम ट्राई जो कॉमन मेथड है दैट्स ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर बिकॉज इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल इन द सिस्टम so we can determine this number average molecular weight by the osmotic pressure method and we can determine by other methods also but usually this is the common one that's the osmotic pressure because here that pressure change or that pressure depends on the number of particles in the system not on the mass so this is basically the number average molecular weight jo next concept hai isme that is weight average molecular weight so weight average molecular weight mein hum kya karenge it's very simple आपको क्या करना है जो आपने नंबर एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट यहां से निकाला है दिस वन दैट सो वेट एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट कैलकुलेट करने के लिए व्हाट विल डू इट इज लाइक एन आई देन यू हैव एम आई जो हमने वहां देखा था मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द मास ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल पार्टिकल डिवाइडेड बाय आपका वहां एन आई था तो यहां पर भी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द मास ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल पार्टिकल सो दैट बिकम्स एन आई एम आई स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय एन आई एम आई चूंकि वी हैव आई टाइप पार्टिकल सो कैन डी समेशन एंड वी कैन यूज द वर्ड समेशन हियर सो दिस कैन बी एक्सप्रेस एज द वेट एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट ऑफ अ पॉलीमर सो दिस इज योअर वेट एवरेज मॉलिक्यूलर वेट ऑफ पॉलीमर तो वॉट वी हर डन बेसिकली वी आर the uh, we are adding we are actually multiplying the individual molecular weight of individual chains ab yahan pe dekhiye jo division mein hai aapke paas that's n1 m1 ab yahan pe n1 nahi hai that's why yahan pe the particles are not treated equally yahan pe jo contribution hoga jis bhi polymer chain ka so that counts here so that means it is uh, important to say that in the weight average molecular weight in the weight average molecular weight concept the contribution of each molecule to the total mass is calculated or the total mass has a contribution means agar kisi ka zyada molecular weight hai to that that will contribute more to the overall molecular weight of a polymer by this formula likely jiska kam ho molecular weight 
that will contribute less to the overall, overall molecular weight of the polymer. While as in case of uh, uh, number average molecular weight or number average molecular mass, both the chains, they were contributing equally. And we have to calculate karte hain ki we are treating them equally. But in this case, that uh, the contributions, it will vary depending on the molecular weight of the polymer. So this is N. I M I square divided by N I M I, so that's your weight average molecular weight of the polymer. So, ये मैंने basic concept I have tried यहाँ से question आता है. Now, एक term है, एक term होती है. For example, let me get this. If we write the ratio of, if if I pick the ratio of weight average molecular weight or weight average molecular mass divided by number average molecular weight or number average molecular mass. So this ratio is denoted by uh, D. PDI I believe it is D. So this is basically called as the polydispersed index. That is the ratio of weight average molecular weight to the number average molecular weight is called polydispersed index. Now, if the value of this index is 1, that means your weight average molecular weight is called a number average molecular weight. So, this means that when you calculate this method of molecular weight, calculate kar, karo ke, you will get the same value as by this method. This means that the chains of the polymer, mein hai, all the polymer chains, they have the same molecular weight. That means they, are equally, uh, they have the same length. So, that means the polymer is said to be monodispersed. They're said to be monodispersed. Which is ideally not uh, But the usual situation is, as we said, usually the polymerization process they are random. So you will get the chains of different lengths. So our case hota hai, that is weight average molecular weight that is usually greater than number average molecular weight. This means if we put this in this formula, so we'll get the D that will be greater than 1. So the D value of greater than 1 means it's called as a polydispersed polymer. So this is called as a polydispersed polymer. So your polymer is polydispersed. So when your D value is greater than 1. So this is that's why this ratio is very important in the polymer chemistry. That's polydispersed index. Sometimes people write it PDI also. So no issue. So polydispersed index, the ratio of weight average molecular weight to the number average molecular weight of a polymer. So it's usually greater than 1. If it is 1, that's called a monodispersed, which is a real, which is not a real situation. Sometimes if we, you know, do some control experiments, yeah, we see condition and they will make the uh, chains of same length. Then uh, the ratio will be still greater than 1. It's around 1.10 and so on. So, so the monodispersed polymer, if we have that's not exactly one. We'll get the PDI values that will be around 1.10, yeah, 1.105. So usually the polymers are polydispersed. So PDI value or D value is greater than one. That means weight average molecular weight is always greater than the number average molecular weight. So this way numerically we ask that we can easily do this using these type of formulas. So this was the basics of the molecular mass in the polymers we have concluded it here in the lecture number two so inshallah in the next class we'll uh, go for another lecture another lecture so this is all for the day